Beginning of the on the second superstar of Tzadik Dalit, we begin on the bottom of Tzadik Gimel Beis, 12 lines up from the bottom of the Yamid, where we continue the halacha of the next Mishnah, continue the theme of Misha Hoya Nasli, we spoke about someone who's married to other women. The only difference is the previous Mishnah was discussing that they were on the same day, their Ksubis. Here, we talk about when the Ksubis were on four different times, they were consecutive, regarding how you go ahead and paying out these Ksubis. Some of these we in today's daf are If a later creditor comes and collects, so really they're not supposed to collect first. Someone else was supposed to collect before them. So one opinion says mashagava lo gava, so what they collect is not collected. We take it away from them. The other opinion says no mashagava gava, and that's going to come in relation to today's daf. Abayik Ashisha, he qualifies this halacha that we say. Habodli par menichsi yisayim the par b'shvua. He says that's actually even gedayim. It doesn't mean just as one would think of young children, orphans that you connect like collect from them. And it's even gedayim ain't sarklem kitanim, and that we're concerned the father already paid. And orphans don't know. It's nothing to do with the fact that they are minors. The Gemara discussed a case of two partners. What was taken the best and lost? As a result, part of their shirt property was taken away. The Gemara says ultimately the other partner can claim. Had I been there, I would have made a better claim. I don't have to lose my share because of you going and litigating for us. The Gemara qualifies like Marnel Blaisa Bemas, it's only if he wasn't in town. Blaisa Bemas, he by the Messi should have came, and if he didn't come and he didn't litigate, then your partner's litigation for you is considered that he was representing you and his loss is your loss. The Gemara has a machlek is regarding Shneshtar Sayyid and the Yemech. What do you do if you have the same property being sold? And two people have this a document on that property sold on the same day. So Rav says, okay, what are you going to do? Chal, can you split it? Shmuel says, no, should the didayin. Now, as Machlik is Rashi Teish, we mentioned already once before, an explanation of should the didayin, that either like Rashi says, that they try to figure out who does it make sense that was the one that he was more uh, used to, and therefore that's the one he sold it to. Or Teish said, no. They could decide who they feel it's, it's rightfully should go to. The holy Yeshlafi Indian leaves Babasachas, Imus Shamalais Shazacha, since it obviously can't be that both of them were at the same time. So you try, they try to figure out who do they feel was the one that was supposed to get it. This Machlekes that the Gemara brings in, the well known Machlekes from Mesech is Gitten, regarding what is that makes a get. The witnesses who were signed on the get, that's the creases, that's what makes the get. It's the witnesses that it was given over in front of them, that's what makes the get. So we begin the current daf. The bottom of the Gimel Mabay is by the Mishnah. It says the Mishnah, If someone was married to four women, and these were, whose ksubas were written consecutively, not on the same day, and he died. Says the Mishnah, the first one comes before the second one, the second one before the third one, the third one before the fourth one. Okay, now the Mishnah says, the first wife who's collecting first has to swear to the second wife. That is, if let's say the second one claims that, look, you're coming to take your ksuba first. Swear to me that you have not collected your ksuba from our husband anything beforehand because I'm concerned you collect. I don't know what's going to be left over in the bank account of the amount of my ksuba. So the second one can make the first one swear. Now the second one has to swear to the third one. Again, each later wife is concerned there might not be anything left over. So you make the one before you swear. But a vias, but says the Tanakama, the fourth one, nefrash she could collect without an oath which Rashi points out, must be talking about that the orphans are adults and that Aratana holds like the one who says that when did the rabbi say that if you come and collect from the Nixi Yisayim, you could only collect with a Shavua, is only by minor orphans, not by adult. So, so therefore, you don't have to swear for anyone else, because no one coming after her, she's the last one. And you don't have to swear for the Yisayim, because they're ready to get So the fourth one collects without a oath. However, Bananas, I mean, he disagrees. Says, you think because she's the last one, this care suddenly she's going to gain, she's collecting without an oath? I feel like different, but she also could only collect with an oath. And the Gemara is going to explain what is the machlek is dependent on if the fourth one makes an oath or not. Says the Mishnah, Now, however, let's say they're all coming out with a ksuba that was written on the same day. So there's obviously no first, second, third, fourth. 
So then, even though it's on the same day, whoever's ksuba is written earlier in the day, zachsa she merits if the hours are explicit inside the document. For example, let's say one of them is written that on that day, on the third hour, the second one says on the fourth hour, and so on and so forth, then actually you go based on the hour. And that's actually how they used to write in Yerushalayim <coughs> the hours that... that the, Telling you exactly what down to the hour that it was. Now, let's say, says the Mishnah, you're calling it, it's Bisha Achas. What happens if, let's say, they're all in the same hour, and there's only one Mana, then again, they, they equally divide it because there's no way for us to divine the one that was before the other one. So that's the Mishnah. Now, the Gemara asks, but my Kamefuki, there's three ways of understanding the Machlik between the Tanakama and Ben Nanas. Hanukkah said the fourth one collects without an oath. But Nanda says, no, she can only collect Ilsa with an oath. What's the mouth like? So Amar Shmuel, explanation number one. As you can about Tzali Dal Menal. Kagain, we talk about Shanim says Achaz, man. We find that one of the three fields that one of the th- first three wives collected was Sadeh Shei We find that it actually was a stolen field. So ultimately what's going to happen is that the real owner is going to come and take that and collect it. Now, when the fourth one comes to collect her ksuba from the fourth field, so this woman comes along and she says, wait a second, let's say it's woman number two. She says, I found out that the field that I got was a stolen field. The, 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 the one that was stolen from is going to come based on a week and a month or whenever he's going to find out, he's going to take my field away from me. Comes out, I'm going to be left with nothing because you're taking the last field. I want you to swear that you have not collected your ksuba when her husband was alive. <clears throat> and that's only part of the variable. The machlekes is regarding if a later creditor collects earlier, what's the halacha? And that's the machlekes. What a later creditor collects is not collected. Meaning, why? So therefore, the Tanakam holds that the fourth wife doesn't have to swear, because why would you make her swear? If the nigzel comes along and collects it from, let's say, wife number two, no problem. She'll go to wife number four and take away what she took because she's wife number four. She's a bal chayv mo'ocher. She has a later debt uh, on the husband. But now the son holds no master gavu gavu. You know, later credit collect is collected. So the third one cannot go, let's say, on the fourth one. And therefore she makes her take an oath because if she really does not deserve it, she will end up staying with it. So that's the machlik is between the Tanakama and and uh, Bananas, if a Balchay Mo'ucha Shagava is Gava or not. If it is Gava, then we have to make her take an oath because we found out that one of the fields was stolen and we're not going to be left with anything. So then we want to make sure that she's saying the Emmas. And that's what we're saying. The Hadley Kama holds it no. Mashagava le Gava. And therefore, why should I make you swear? If it turns out that, that my field was taken away, I'm an earlier creditor, you're not going to be able to hold on to it anyway. That's one interpretation. Interpretation number two, Reb Nachman Amar Rabba Baravu, he says, no, the Kula Amevun holds, Masha Gava Loiga. If a later creditor collects, it's not considered a collection. So then obviously the question is on bananas. If it's not a collection, so even if let's say it was a stolen field, number two could go, or number three could go to the fourth one and take it away from her, why do we need to make it take an oath? So the Gemara explains, The concern is that maybe she's going to ruin the field, this wife number four, <coughs> in the interim, and that is Mar Sabar, Benanis that holds, you have to take an oath. What's the reason? Is because he holds <coughs> We're concerned that this fourth wife is going to ruin the field that she's collecting. Why? Because when she sees that wife number one, two, and three all took an oath, and she's not, being ta- she's not taking an oath, she knows that the reason why is because the third one's going to be able to take away whatever she <coughs> took in case of, let's say, it turns out that it was a stolen field. So the fourth one's not concerned to make the field better. She's just going to utilize and abuse the whole field and consume whatever's on it. So therefore, we make her take an oath that she has not yet gotten before so that she can go ahead and hold on to what she's got. Whereas in Marsa, the Tanya Kama holds, we're not concerned that she's going to go ahead and ruin it. And therefore, that with, since we're not concerned for that, so she doesn't have to swear about anything because what's the point? If, if it turns out that Masha Gava Loi Gava will we'll take it away from her. And we don't have to make her take an oath as if she's going to ruin it because she, we, don't have a concern, we don't have such a concern that she's going to go ahead and ruin it. Uh, interpretation number three, Bayo Amar, he says, Dabai Kashishik Benayu. 
Abaya the elder, it's a different Abaya. And Abaya says, the difference between them is, let's say it's not like we set up until now. It's not talking about a case as the first and two interpretations are talking about that we find out that one of the fields really were stolen, wasn't really his, and we're concerned that this wife number three or two has to collect from wife number four. No. We're talking about that the orphans, as generally when you're coming to collect from Nixi Simon, they're making her take an oath. So what's the machlekes? So everyone should hold she has to take an oath. No, the Tanah by Gashisha, by Gashisha taught, you say, Mishamru, this that we always say, Allah, and that if someone's coming to collect from orphans, they'll only collect with an oath. Says a by Gashisha, that's also Gedolim. That's even when the orphans are adults, 50 year olds, whatever it is. Paints are of Lime Gitam, I don't have to tell you when they're minors. Ah, so Tanah Kama, let's lead the by Gashisha. Tanah Kama doesn't hold like a by Gashisha. Orphans are only the young little kids who don't know what's going on, and we need to protect them. Then you have to take an oath. Oh, but over here that they're adults. So the Tanakh Kama held you don't have to make the fourth one take an oath. Bananas is the Baikashisha. Bananas holds a Baikashisha. So again, the first three wives have this word the later wives because of the white later wives losing out. Wife number four, no, there's no one after her. Why would she have to take an oath? No, it's to the orphans. So what's Machlekes? If the Allah applies only by Gedalim or even by Gedalim, that's Machlekes, Tanakh Kama, and Bananas. Now the Gemara introduces a halacha that would relate back to the halacha of Amish. Amr Abuna. It says, Hamdashtay Ahri. If let's say you have two brothers, or the tree should be two partners, the Islahu Dina Bahadicha, they're both, their company is having a court case with one individual. Now, many times you have partners, you can't have both of them available at all times. So one of the partners went to litigate regarding this uh, case, regarding the partnership with someone else, and the partner lost. Says, Rav Huna lemotzi idach, the other partner cannot lememele cannot say to the other to the litigant to the other uh, the one with the plaintiff cannot tell him adla baldvam didiyat. In this court case you had with my friend with my partner, you uh, you didn't litigate with me. I want to go ahead and have a court case with you and my uh, my part of the partnership. He can't say that. Says Rav Huna elishlichusi of it. He did his. Agency. And one of the partners goes, represents the firm. The firm lost. You can't say that your part of the firm uh, has not been well represented. However, the Gemara tells us that Ikhlar of Nachman is Surah. But Nachman is Surah. And Shailu, they asked him, Ki I gab namai. They asked him the same question. Two partners, two brothers, whatever it was, they had a court case with one individual, and the partner lost. Could the other partner say, hey, that was for him, but not, that wasn't for me? He said to the Masnini, he said, Salah about Mishnah. What is this in our Mishnah? Where do we see this? The Mishnah spoke about four wives, one before the other. He said, Rishon and Nishbaz Lashniya. First one swears to the second one. Rishon and the second one to the third one. Rishon and the and the third one to the fourth one. Says, he says, he says a diuk. He says, Be'il Rishon and Lashniya, just look at Tani. It doesn't say that the first one has to swear to the third one because she already th- swore. Now, my time, what's the reason? Is lab mishum the shlichusa of the? Isn't it because the second one, who made the first one swear, did the agency of the third one? Mm-hmm. So you see that the later one cannot take make you take an oath for their portion. It says the Gemara, me dummy, is it comparable? Asim over there, shvu lechad v'shvu lemeya. It's like the terminology near lechad near lemeya. It's like an oath to one is an oath to a thousand. It doesn't it doesn't make a difference. Why would you have to make an oath to another person? Hacha amar, but here the partner could say. Had I been here, I would have said a better claim. Oh, I'm, I'm much better at litigation than, than my partner. So he went. No, that's for him that I don't deserve to lose because of him. And that's how the Gemara holds. But the Gemara says, well, Imam, we didn't say that he could go back and litigate with him another time. That's El Isse. That's only if that partner wasn't the muscle, wasn't in town, when his friend went to represent the firm. Well, he said the Muslim, but if he was in town, he should have gone to the town, I mean, he should have gone to the court case, and therefore he has no rights to say that uh, this claim, and he would lose out because of his partners uh, losing the court case. Again, continuing related to the Allah of the Mishnah, Itma, we learned, base stars are Yitzmidiyamechad. If let's say, like we said in the Mishnah regarding four Ksubas on the same day, here, obviously very different, because there the Ksubas, yes, the husband married four women, so he's obligated to give it to all of them. Here, what happened was he sold one field to two people on the same day. So this, uh, oftentimes you get scammed, a guy is selling a property, 
two other two people bought the same property on the same day. So what's Allah? It's Rabba Machalki. Rab said, I mean, the reason why we're saying on the same day is obviously if one was sold the, the day before, obviously the early one's gonna get it. He was in that port. But here it's on the same day. It's Rabba Machalki and he says you divide the property. Shmulam he says, no, should the dining. Which again, as we mentioned, the Machlik is Rashi and Toysis, what exactly does that mean? Rashi says, according to what the judges see, that who is the one that should win, who is the one that should lose, so that's the one they give it to. They don't, they don't go ahead and say Yachlik. Says the Gemara, layman, let's say that the Machlik is Rav and Shmuel is a Machlik is Tanoi. Which Machlik is Tanoi? Rav the Amar, Rav that says you split it, is Kremea. Which is, the Amar says, we're going to look at Get. He says, Eide Chassim Mekarti. He says that, you know what makes the severance of the get? Is the witnesses who are assigned on it. Okay, so same thing is regarding documents. Meaning, if these two documents were signed on the same day, in a place where you don't write hours, so they revealed their intention that they weren't particular about the one that was coming before the other, meaning the seller. So even if, let's say, one was sold in the morning, one was sold in the afternoon, there's no more rights for the one in the morning than the one in the afternoon because you didn't write the hours. So therefore, as Rashi says, it wouldn't be applicable to say should the dining because there's no way for us to better the ability of one over the other one. So if you hold a grammar that's the signing, which is the actual documentation, and in the documentation what we sign, there's no hours. So on the same day, there's no, there's no, there's no better one or the other. So therefore, if anything, it makes sense that we, we have to, obviously, we're in agreement that one's gonna, no, no one's better than the other, and therefore we split it. However, as the Gemara continues to Bey, he's a Shmuel, the Amad Kerev Lazar. He tells the Lazar, the Amad that he says, that even when there's no witnesses on the get, rather, Eid the it was just given over in front of the witnesses, Karti, that creates the get, and so too, regarding collecting from the Chasm Shabbatim, that the witnesses were assigned on the get, that's actually only because of ticket Eilam. Why? Meaning, even collecting from collateral, the only thing is, maybe the Edmissi are going to die, or they're going to go overseas. So you don't have the oral testimony of the witnesses anymore, so you have witnesses signed in the documentation. But obviously, we see that according to Belazah, Edmissi character, the primary is the witnesses who see that's given over in front of them. So what's the significance of that? So that, that means to say, over here you could say, maybe one of these two individuals, was dearer to him than the other, and that he first gave it to him. And the second one, he misled. Meaning, if you're looking at documentation, Eid Chasina, in the documentation, there's nothing more one than the other. I don't care if you gave it to one before the other, it doesn't make a difference. In the document, you showed that you don't care more about one than the other. But if you're Eid Masir Karti, you gave it to one before the other, and if that's the case, that is the primary criterion according to Rebbe Laza. So I mean to say, the second one that you gave it to, maybe you misled him, and therefore, when we don't know, and that's the key words over here, according to Rashi, if we don't know, we're going to say, should the Dedaini, based on what we see, me, mehem, ho, yiragoletz, liyesu. Well, who's the one that he was more accustomed to be with? Because Shuda is better than just splitting. Because at least by Shuda, you might get the right person. Chalukah, it's neither one. One, Yai yeah, bought it. We don't know who. He sold it to both of them, but one of them is supposed to get it. So if Shmuel says, at least you could say Shuda, because according to Reb you can't say Shuda. Because there's no one that has any more rights. But by Reb Lazar, that you hold in the Sir Karti, that makes sense. One guy was given to before the other one. What? No, no, you didn't give it to both at the same, you didn't hand it to both at the same time. They wanted to both bought this property if you're giving it to them at the same time. So one guy went at 11 o'clock in the morning, one guy went at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you only did Hasima, but in the documentation, there's no yeah, better one than the other. But if you only did one was given it before, and the coin trouble does it, that's the primary criterion. So, so therefore, that's. Two separate sets of eight of them were both done at the same time. Two. To be the same in the Sira for the two transactions. The, the, the both bought at the same time? Yeah. Rashi doesn't see but that would be the case, because who would, why would two buyers buy the same property at the same time? You tell me, you sell me the house. Two guys are there by this, the, the guy who's the contractor, right. and he said, I'm selling this house, here's the keys. Well, this, two, the, the Adam are the ones delivering the contract. Right? It, it was delivered. Adam Sira. I'm, I'm saying it was given over. So, so the Adam is here, two Adam gave at 11 o'clock, and two other Adam gave also at 11 o'clock. <coughs> two other Adam. Yeah. Two Adam is Sira, they gave it Who over? I don't know if the Adam gave it over, they just saw him give it over. 
the, the Edom are the ones who are witnessing. They have to be present. You want to know if he made a shliach, I hear him saying, asking a cash, he's saying, if he made a shliach, and that he somehow was able to sell it through a shliach, and you have Edom and Sira, you know, it's not, it's not the child. But the Gemara assumes that, um, I place also talks about being Efshla Tzamtzim, or, it sounds like that, that there's one, is have, one is being given over before the other one. So, so that's what the Gemara says, that seemingly that's Machlik is Rab and Shmuel, the Machlik is, the famous Machlik is the Masech is given between a man and a Lazar, is Eid HaChassim HaKadr or, or Eid HaMasir So the Gemara says, look, not necessarily the case. The Kul Alma, I can tell you, everyone holds Kerebu Lazar. Now, why are we saying that, that everyone's like Rebbe Lazar? It is a nice Machlik is the mayor and Rebbe Lazar, because we hold like Rebbe Lazar by Gittin, that Eid HaMasir HaKadr. And we'd rather say everyone holds like Rebbe Lazar. And, Based on Rebbe Laza, you could say Shuda, and you could say Chalukah. I mean, you could say Chalukah, you could say Divided, but you could say Shuda, according to Rebbe, you can't even say Shuda. But what's Machlik is Rabbi Shmuel, is which one's a better option? Rabbi Sabah Chalukah Adifa, he holds that splitting is better, because we, we don't know whose claim is stronger. Shmuel Sabah holds, no, Shuda Dedaina Adifa. It's better to do Shuda Dedaina, because at least, the way Teresa says, you, 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 there's a possibility that it'll end up with the one that the seller or the giver intended. So therefore, that's Machlekes, but everyone could be Holzik of Lazar and not necessarily his Ram like Remeir. Says the Gemara, is that really so? Can you really say it? You, you said the Ram was like Remeir. Now you're switching, you want to say everyone's like Rebelazar. What's better, Chalukah or Shuda? Is that really so? Could Rab be like Rebelazar? But Rab Rab says, Halacha Rebelazar be given. Yes, as we said, everyone holds Rebelazar be given, the Messiah Karti. But but says Rabbi Yehuda, when I said over, could Rab, Rabbi Yehuda used to be a student of Rab, and then he went and became a student of Rabbi Shmuel. So when I said over the Shmuel, he says Af Bishtars, not only hold Rabbi Laza by Gittin, but also by regular documentation. So says the Gemara, Machlad Rabbi Sava, obviously Rabbi Hold Bishtars Loi. Then we don't pass him like Rabbi Laza by documents. Here we're talking about a star, not a get. So it says the Gemara, Machvata, you're right. Obviously, it's clear that we have to say like we first said. Rab Kerem Meir Shmuel Rabbi Laza Machlekes Rabbi Shmuel is Machlekes Tanoim. Of Reb Meir and Reb Lazar, because Rab obviously is not holding Reb Lazar, and therefore he holds like Reb Meir. That's what he says. Look at that, and that, and that makes sense because the Chazim and the end the witnesses sign. There's no difference one from the other, and Shmuel is like Reb Lazar. Now, however, Meis, when you go ask on Shmuel, who holds that you say Shuda from the following Brisa, the Brisa says Shnei Shdaras Hayitzim Midim Echad. You have two documentations that are produced on the same day. Cholkin, you divide it. Obviously, you see, when they're both written, the guy sold these two people, Ruben and Shimon, the same property the same day, you see that Chalukah is better. So you have to the Shmuel, if you Shmuel, says, no, you say Shud, they not. Chalukah. Amcha Shmuel, Shmuel will tell you, no, Almani, who is the time of the Bryce? It's Remeir. And you're right, according to Remeir, we said you cannot say Shud because there's no, well, no, no one is better than the other. Not, no, they are like Rebbe Lazar, but I hold like Rebbe Lazar. Like we said, Shmuel is going like Rebbe Lazar, and if you say Shud, said to him, wait a second, that's difficult. Here in Meir, if you say in the Bryce of Grim Meir, Amos saying, but look at the end of the Bryce. The Bryce says, Kasab la'echad, if you wrote to one person a document, you didn't give him the document, however, until you wrote a second document to someone else, and umos la'achar, and you gave the second document to that other person before you gave the first document to the first person. Says the Bryce, okay, that's a Muslim comma. The one that you handed it over to, he's the one who acquires it. Says the Gemara, wait a second. Here, Mayor, if you tell me that the Bryce of Man, that's why it's not difficult, you Shmuel, and my Kano, why is the second guy being Kano? Oh, I'm a Eid Chasim Akarti. The Mayor holds the witnesses who signed on what make to get the document. That means that the first one that was signed, even though he didn't give it over, he gets it first. Obviously, like Rashi explains, it must be that the Bryce of Lazar. And we're back to the point of, okay, according to Velazar, you could say Shud, you could say Chalukah. And still the Bible is saying Chalukah, obviously Chalukah is better, and therefore that's the Vagon Shmuel who says, no, according to Velazar, you say Shud and not Chalukah. So it's a more good question, but it's a Tatan Tanoihi. It's a Machlik Tanoihi, even in your Velazar. There is those who say that you could say Shud is better, and there are those who say Chalukah is better. The Tanakh learned Braisa at the end of the first paragraph of Gittin, that the Halacha says, if you tell someone, here, Take this hundred dollars, give it to that person. The, the agent goes, he tries to find the guy, doesn't find him <coughs> because he died. So he goes back to the one who sent him, the one who sent him died. So he goes back to the Yershim, etc., etc., until the Chachamayim becomes Seyach Leku. What you do is, the Yershim of the one who sent him, the Yershim of the one he sent to, those two orphans, they divide 
that money. That's what the Chacham hold. But here they say that Mashiach Tzashlish Yasef, whatever the third party, meaning the Shliach, sees fit, which is the Halach of Shuda, that he should do. Oh, so we see the Semach Loikis of that it's not difficult on Shmuel because you see there is an opinion that holds Shuda would be better. Yeah, you see the Pina Chacham and Yechleiku, so in other words, Shmuel would be like the Khan Amru that Shuda is other. So it's not difficult on Shmuel because it's a Machleikis. So even if you held like Rabbi Laza, that even that we're here, there's no chas, there's no there's no chasim over here. It's just a guy giving a hundred dollars. You see that is Chalukah better? Is Shuda other? And we have the Machleikis Tanaim, so Shmuel could just be like those Tanaim. I think Mar brings a story actually related to this. Uh, interesting story. Ima did it to Rami Bachama. The mother of Rami Bachama, Kaspesinu <laughs> Lenixa, Lerami Bachama Betzapa. So she wrote off her whole estate, her whole will. Rami came over with a nice breakfast. He's talking to his mama. And his mama said, Yeah, Rami, you're my favorite. She writes in her will. She's writing all her estate to Rami Bachama in the morning. Lord, in the evening, later in the day, Kaspesinu Lamarukva Bachama. Marukva, he comes. He, he brings nice dinner to his mother. He says, Mama, is there anyone better than me? He says, no, it's true. Uh, you're, you're the favorite. She writes a whole, his, her whole will to him. Now, it's not, it wasn't known to whom did she give over that shtar matam. And when she wrote it, she wrote and signed, let's say, in the morning for one after another. But it wasn't known when she actually gave it over to them who got the shtar matam first. So, Asr Rami Bacham came in front of Rav Sheshit. Rav Sheshit says, Rav Sheshit is the dying, sitting there. Oh, Rami, yeah, she wrote it to you first in the morning. You get the whole, you get the estate. Asr Rami Bacham came in front of Rav Sheshit. went to his roof. He didn't go to Rav Sheshit, he went to Rav Nachman. And Rav Sheshit says, yeah, take it, Rav Sheshit, you, you deserve, you get the whole estate. So, Rav Sheshit comes to Rav Nachman. And then the Rabbunim now start, you know, quarreling, Rav Sheshit comes to Rav Nachman. He says, Amalei says, my time of an Ahi. Why'd you do this? I already awarded this to, uh, to, to, the, to the first brother, to, to Rami. Amalei says, You're coming back to him. Says, Why'd you do what you did? Amalei says, What do you mean? They called him. <laughs> the mama wrote it to him first in the morning. Amalei. So on that, Rav Nachman said to him, Do you think we live in your shalim? They have a choice where they write hours? We don't write hours. And since they weren't particular about writing the hours, Obviously, they reveal that their custom is that they don't go after who's earlier in the day. And they were both equal. So don't tell me that the mama wrote it to him earlier in the day, that that should be different. Okay, it says, So, but why did you do like this, that you awarded it to him? Why did you say, Yachleikum? Amalei said to him, said Rav Nachman, why did I give it to Marukva, who got laid in there? He says, because Shudu did Aini. We rule like Rebbe Lazar, who says, Eid Masir Karati. And then it depends who was given over. We don't know who was given over, but should the design is, to me it seems fit that that Marukva was her, her favorite child. And therefore she must have given it to him first. We don't know, but we say should the design, the dying gets to decide. So Malay Rav Shisha said to Nachman, what about Anonami? Me, so me too, should the design. Since I paskin that the din was for Rami Bachama, and I was the first to who decided on this case, so you have no right to remove it from him to give it to my Ukva, <laughs> because he already came to me, to my Bezdin, and we already awarded to, to Rami, which should the Dedaina. So what do you tell me, should the Dedaina, <laughs> that you're saying and you're giving it to Rab- Marukva? So Malay, so not Rab Nachman said, only Rabun could talk like this. He says, Chada, first of all, Dano Dain. He says, I'm a Dain. I was appointed by the Reshkalusa and by the Yeshiva. But Marlav Dayana, you're not a Dain. Yeah, maybe you have a certificate, Rabbi, this and this, but you're not a Dain. And but like, moreover, in the beginning, you didn't come with this claim. You didn't say your reasoning why you awarded to, to Rami was because of Shuddha Dedaina. You said, and you made a mistake, you said because the mother first wrote it and signed it for Rami, like her mayor. But we're not in your Shalayim. So we don't go based on ours. And therefore, that means you weren't coming from Shuddha Dedaina. And therefore, my Shuddha Dedaina is the one that wins. And therefore, my Ukva is going to get it, not Rami Bacham. You're saying even if let's say both so were there. Let's say let's maybe they both were there even, let's say. Let's say Rami and Marukh were both there. Where? What? Where? I'm saying let's say they were. I don't know they weren't. Let's say when they were by Rashash. Okay. 
No, maybe after his, maybe after his bed. He came to his and he says, you know. But either way, however they were pascaling, the point is, he says, you weren't coming from Shuda, and therefore uh, it's not being awarded to, to, to Ram. Now, related, the Gemara says, how do you study? There were these two uh, documents of a sale, which were, again, were both produced for the same field. One was written that the date was the 5th of Nisan. The other one said it was in Nisan. They didn't say what day of the month. So obviously the Nisan awarded it to the one that it said the 5th of Nisan because, and as the Gemara explains, the other one who says Nisan says, I lose out. He was claiming that let's say it was like the 2nd of Nisan. He says, no, I'd be al He says, you have the lower hand because Amen Bar Chavtes I could say you were the 29th of Nisan. You have no way of proving it. Whenever you have a document, you, it's the least amount that is evident from the document. And we don't know when the Nisan was. So even though you might have been the second of Nisan, it doesn't say, so maybe it's the 29th. But Amalei said, the guy said to him, at least, definitively, let the master write to me as Yurtinta of Tal Himanal, a tearful, uh, a document to collect from the Lukuchais that Meir Ve'elach, at least from Rosh Chodesh Ir and onwards, because his property was sold to him with insurance. At least write for me that I could collect from those that were bought from the one that was sold to me after Ir. On that, Amalei said to him, no, it's not true, because Yachli Lameimer, what happens is Lukuchais could tell Lachot to you, Akbar Chad Benisanad, your document, it doesn't say when Benisan, they could tell you, you were the first of Benisan, your document was the first, and therefore, the one who was the fifth of Nisan took from you inappropriately. So essentially what the buyers would want to tell him is, you have no right to collect from us. Because you were supposed to get the first Lukuchas, which the fifth of Nisan one told. Meaning anyone could tell him, your document, that you, until you could prove otherwise, your document is trying to remove money from someone else. Maybe you were to what, second of Nisan, and then you can't collect even from the ones from here and onwards because you were supposed to get that field. So he, this guy's car from his MSS, so he must have the cafe. How could we remedy this guy's situation? He tell me he can't get before the guy for fifth of Nisan, because it just says Nisan's down. And then you say he can't get even after, because they're, they're going to tell him you were supposed to get before him. So the Gemara says that what they should do is they should give power of attorney. He should ask the other guy, the fifth of Nisan guy, that he should give him over his documentation. And he should write that he gives him permission to collect for him from the kuchar. So, as follows. If they tell him, you were the first of Nisan, so he says, no problem. I'm coming to collect because of the fifth of Nisan guy. Because to both of us, it was sold with insurance. And I'm coming with his power of attorney, with permission to collect for him. And if they're going to tell him, no, 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 no. He was first, and you're the 29th of Nisan. He says, no problem, I'm coming to collect myself. And that's the way he can get out of it. If he comes by our shaw, he'll be able to collect his debt, at least from here and all this. Thank you for any time for hosting us.